Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So today I wanted to start off by finally making ourselves this compacting drawer. I just made up two pistons. Uh, we still have to make this basic drawer. I guess I need to get iron, and then I just smelted up some stone. So let's grab that piece of iron. Uh, all the iron that we had in the smeltery, I finally cast it out, and we turn it into ingots. And same thing with the invar that we had from last time. But anyway, we wanted to come in here and make ourselves some kind of a drawer. Now, here's the thing. Uh, when you make, like, a compacting drawer, you have to use some kind of a drawer, a basic drawer, uh, in order to use that in the recipe. So the question that I have for you guys, is it better to use a 1x1 one one drawer, a 1x2 drawer, a 2x2 uh, two two drawer, the half-size 2x2 two two drawer? Like, which one is more efficient to use? This is a question that I've always wondered because like if you want to use a two by two drawer, then you have to use four chests and it's less planks, or you could do like the one chest with six planks for the one by two drawer. Uh, normally I just go with, uh, not this way, this way, this particular drawer, the basic drawer, but I don't know if there is like a resource, like if there is a more efficient way of doing it, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, so we will make ourselves the compacting drawer actually I don't think we're going to get credit for having the other drawer, will we? No. Because it didn't close out of my inventory. Uh, we have a quest where that wants us to make a regular drawer, so let's go ahead and craft that. And then we should get the quest complete for the compacting drawer after. There we go. So what I wanted to do was to replace this over here with a compacting drawer. So I'll just go ahead and break this. I don't have an axe, so I'll use my sword. It works just fine. And we can just place that right here. Cool. So that's putting in the cobblestone, which is going to automatically turn into the compressed and the double compressed. Now, since I have all this stuff, I can just right click on these other things and they all fill up. So we have uh, a stack plus 10 double compressed cobblestone right now, which is really good. Uh, so this is going to hold a whole lot of cobblestone. We won't have to worry about this thing filling up for like pretty much forever as long as we're using this iron one. As we upgrade it, though, we are going to want to put the uh, the drawer upgrades in here to make sure that we can fill this all the way up. But yeah, this is really, really good for us. Okay, so let's take a look at those quests that we just completed. I think they were right here. Uh, so that's the basic drawer. We'll claim that one, and then we get the compacting drawer, and we'll claim that. So now we are up to... Uh, where did I put the stuff? Is it in this one? I did put it into the, our metals chest here. So we're up to 95 rack, which is awesome. I like it. Okay, so uh, drawer controller is another thing that we can make in a controller slave. If we look at the drawer controller, I don't know what the recipe is. I haven't looked at this yet. There is not anything different. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I feel like in this mod pack, it is Kappa mode. And a lot of the recipes are the base recipes. Now this is beta and I'm sure things will change over time, but it is just a little surprising to me like that some of these things like that uh, have not been modified at all. Uh, but anyway, if we want to make a drawer controller, we already have the drawer, so we can do this as long as we have nether quartz. I don't recall if we have obtained nether quartz, and it doesn't look like it. So if we do nether quartz, what does it cost to get this? That requires, well, we could probably go to the nether to get it, but yeah, sifting soul sand is what we need to do on a flint or a diamond, not an iron. Something to keep note of. That's kind of interesting that an iron is not one that we can get it. Looks like it is obtainable through loot bags, the common one. Maybe all the different tiers of loot bags? Maybe. Okay. Well, looks like we can do that. And speaking of loot bags, I did get uh, another, what was it, the green one? I can't remember the name. The uncommon loot bag from killing a monster. So we can open some of these and see if we get anything else. Okay. So the nebulous hearts, these are actually pretty good because those give you ender pearls. So I like getting those items. So that's really cool. We get ourselves another bucket and some torches. This, we get some paper in this one, some apples, iron, and gunpowder. Yep, that's pretty cool. We'll put the apples over here with the rest of them. I just got done cooking down some apples, actually, to fill up our food situation right here. So we are doing really good on food right now. We'll put the mob drops away, the blocks away. 
And then if we wanted to make that drawer controller, yeah, we're gonna have to look at getting soul sand. Now I'm pretty sure we can get soul sand. Um, yeah, by not going to the nether, we can make it through, oh, what do you call it? Witch water process by putting dust into a barrel with witch water, but I'm not really sure we're quite at that point yet. So we'll probably hold off on doing that for just a little while anyway. Okay, so if we go back to our quest book here, probably back to the alpha page, what is our next goal? It looks like getting a diamond mesh is one. Uh, last episode, we were working on doing this, and that wanted us to get the water wheel, which required us to have creosote. Maybe we should do that, actually. Start working towards getting uh, the Coke ovens and stuff set up. Now, we saw that was on another page, and I don't remember where that was. So let me scroll back through here real quick. It's this one, the Zeta page. Uh, so the very first quest here wants us to get industrial hemp fiber. Uh, so that is obtained through hemp seeds, and those are obtained by sifting dirt on a string mesh. I don't know if you can get tall grass, like if you break tall grass, if you get these. Looks like you can also do crop sticks to produce this stuff, okay? So let's do this. We need string mesh and we need hemp seeds. Now I'm pretty sure at this point all of our, all of our meshes have been upgraded to iron. Oh no, I guess we still have two flint. I can upgrade those other two to iron, which I probably will, uh, but we need to make ourselves some string mesh so we can do these other things. Now I have a little bit of string remaining. How much will that give us? It'll give us five. Let's do, I mean, we can always grow trees and infest them. Let's just make all that we can right now. Okay, so there is five mesh and then we need dirt. We have five dirt. I don't remember what the recipe to make dirt in this mod pack is. We compost things for it, okay? And that looks like about it. Now, I'm pretty sure if we did make the hunting dimension, that dimension is made out of dirt and we could harvest a whole bunch of that way. But let's just hope that we get the hemp seeds out of these five dirt that we have here, just for simplicity's sake. All right, so that's five of those removed. We'll put these in its place and let's sift. Come on, hemp seed. We did not get it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so now we're gonna have to look at doing some other things. So we got cotton, we got melon, we got seeds, we got the different pebbles. Uh, we got cactus, which is good, and coffee. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to look at how we are going to make some dirt here. Uh, so going back to this. Uh, dirt. We get that from composting all of these different items. Uh, so what would be the best way? It costs 25 silkworms. It's eight saplings. You know what? We have a bunch of saplings in here. This would probably be a good way of getting rid of some of these extra ones that we don't really need. I'm going to put this stuff in here. What is this? Andesite pebble. Yeah, I think all these other pebbles we can just throw away. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we have all these oak saplings that we can uh, turn into dirt. So this might be a good opportunity for us at this point to set up an automation for this. So let us grab some iron. We'll make two hoppers. Actually, I don't remember what the recipe was for hopper. Okay, it's a, the default recipe. So there we go. And then we need to get ourselves the wooden barrel. Is that what it was? Let's take a look again. That is a wooden barrel or a stone barrel, apparently. I didn't actually know you can compost in a stone barrel. I thought we had a wooden barrel around here somewhere. We have wooden water tanks. Ah, wooden barrel right here. Perfect. Okay, so now what we want to do is just put this down somewhere. I guess we'll just stick around the corner. Right there. Put the wooden barrel with a hopper on top of that. And we'll just fill up the saplings. Those will auto filter down into here. It'll compost and then we should get the resulting dirt in the bottom item hopper down below once it's completes. But yeah, it is gonna take a minute for this all to process here. The only real way to speed this up is to add in more wooden barrels. Uh, yeah, I think that might be something we just let go for a little bit. Now the other thing on this page, portality controller and frame. The frame must be at least three deep. It's kind of like a multi-block version of the Tesseract. Oh, you know what? I think I remember looking at this thing before when I played the normal version of this mod pack. But yeah, this is a little expensive for us right now. We don't quite have the material needed for doing this. Um, 
So maybe it would be a good idea to look at another quest here that we can start knocking out. Tell you what, I'm going to go through the quest book. There's a lot of pages and a lot of things to poke at. Let me do that while we wait for this to go down, and I'll figure out what our next course of action should be. All right, guys. So I had a quick look around our quest book here, all the different things that we can do. Uh, mystical agriculture is a thing. There's the Zeta with the hemp seeds that we were looking at. Uh, I don't think we can do this just yet. I pretty much feel like this is our next step for progression in the mod pack. But while we're still waiting for our dirt to process, I thought we could do the iron furnace over here. I've been using our furnaces to cook our apples. and I just made some charcoal with it. And I was like, you know what? We probably should look at upgrading these. So let's go ahead and at least upgrade one to the iron furnace which will decrease processing time. And I don't remember if it increases fuel efficiency or not, but yeah, let's go ahead and at least upgrade one of them. So it's just the furnace wrapped with iron. And there we go. There's an iron furnace. Now it says cook time one seven zero. I don't know what that refers to. Uh, is a normal cook time for an item 200? Is it like a 30% increase or uh, I don't know. I honestly don't understand uh, what the, difference is obviously lower is better so the gold furnace gives you a cook time of 130 the diamond is 100 the emerald is 60 and the endist is down to 30 and the zenith is a cook time of one so i guess that is ticks how long it takes to process one item if i had to guess so i i assume default is 200 ticks but i don't know anyway uh so we have one iron furnace now we can upgrade that further to the gold furnace uh by putting uh some gold around it and that would increase the cook time so we should get a quest complete for that we don't have gold smelted but we can go get ourselves a couple of gold blocks by putting uh this into our smeltery over here that should be the last of our iron all right so we'll melt that down this should be pretty quick to melt pretty quick to uh solidify as well so that's definitely a thing that we can do here uh so while we're waiting on that let's go take a look on how much dirt we have collected i did put another stack of saplings in here oh it is done so we're up to 32. yeah so we have one stack of saplings remaining okay you know what we're getting saplings all the time here do these i assume these work just the same right so we can just throw those extra ones into here oh they don't oh well that's interesting i figured any sapling would work i guess the uh, apple saplings don't work hmm. Anyway, uh, that's not really a big deal. Well, yeah, we got ourselves our dirt. Hopefully we can get our hemp seeds. We have 32 chances of getting them. And we don't have them yet. I kind of don't want to waste all of our dirt if we don't have to. If we get one, I would like to stop. Still no hemp seeds. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Ah, there it is right there. We don't have room in our inventory for it. So we got ourselves dark oak seed, carrot seed. Oh, that's good. I think we're going to need that for the carrot carrots, right? Uh, let's do that real quick. I don't need these pebbles at all. Let's get rid of them. Andesite pebble and stone pebble, granite, stone. Okay. I think there's nothing else on the ground over here. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. So now that we have that, we can start moving forward. Uh, we have all of this stuff now, all these seeds. I don't think I have room for them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. Let's put up the iron. We don't need that. And then our gold should be melted over here so we can start casting that out. I'm probably going to have to make another chest in order to in order to store all this stuff, really. So let me do that real quick. I'll sort the inventory situation we have, and then we will be right back. Okay, so I ended up adding another chest to the very top up here that's containing all of our growable stuff. I just cast out two of our gold ingot blocks and I turned them into ingots or gold ore blocks. Anyway, uh, gold blocks. There we go. Uh, so now there's a gold furnace. So we're going to go from a cook time of 170 down to 130. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. Yeah, let's collect this one and we will collect that one. Uh, there are upgrades for it. It looks like efficiency, speed, liquid fuel upgrade, electric fuel, or processing and processing upgrade. So I assume these allow you to 
speed up the furnace and stuff. I'm sure I've used these things before, but it's just been a little bit of time since I last have. I think we'll just leave it alone for now. So we want this thing to, for instance, process an entire stack of logs here um, and turn that into charcoal. So if I put charcoal here and wood here, this should smelt almost twice the speed as a normal furnace, I think, or 50% faster. Or, I'm not sure. This is now going at 130. Normally, I guess it's 200. Again, I don't know how long the tick is. Either way, it's going significantly faster than the uh, vanilla furnaces. So it might be worthwhile for us later on when we start getting more of these resources to upgrade and have more of these furnaces around. Uh, the diamond furnace, we need four diamonds and then four glass. So that's really not that bad. And then the emerald furnace is kind of the same thing. So once we get emeralds and diamonds, we can start smelting things pretty quickly, I would say. The endus furnace, yeah, and then that's just ender pearls. Uh, and then we'll be able to smell really, really fast. Zenith furnace, though, that does require the nether star. So that's going to take a little bit of time before we get to that point. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this stuff away for now. And then we will take a look at the hemp seeds that we collected. So that's on the Zeta page one more time. It says, may learn more in the engineer's manual. These tend to grow quickly. Uh-huh. Now, I don't know if we can do the industrial hemp fiber, the uh, hemp seeds, with Agricraft. That is something that we need to figure out if we can do that in this mod pack. So, what are the recipes for the crops? So, that is treated sticks. Okay, so they are not regular sticks. Now we're starting to get into things that are a little bit more Kappa Mode-esque, right? Yeah, we need treated sticks, which means we need treated wood, so... We have to grow these things naturally. Okay, so that's cool. Now that we know that, uh, we need to get ourselves a hoe or we can make ourselves a mattock. And I might make the mattock because I'm sure we're going to be using it a lot. And yeah, I might just do that. So uh, off camera, I did make a shovel. Spin in my inventory. Let's do a axe head. And then we can start turning this into the parts that we need. So there is a wooden tool rod. We need a shovel. Get in there. So there's the shovel and then we need the ax head. There we go. So those three parts together are what we need in order to make ourselves the mattock, which is like so. Awesome. So this, you can right click and you can grow plants. Awesome. Okay, so now that we have that, I don't. can we twerk it? I know we can twerk trees. It does not look like twerking works on this. Uh, we have bones and bone meal that we can use, I'm sure. Awesome. So one bone meal will get it to grow. If you break the bottom block and then you replant it. Let's try that again. Replant it, then you gotta do one. Oh, I guess it did grow it full. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I think it's better if you just break the top block when you do this. Could be wrong, but I feel like this is probably the way to go. And then if you had fortune on you, when you break the top block, I think you could probably get more drops out of it. But anyway, we're up to 21 hemp seeds and then we have 43 industrial hemp fiber. So that's pretty good. Let's go back to our quest book here. So we'll claim this reward. And then the next one wanted us to make voltage wire or the hammer. Let's make the engineer's hammer because that's gonna get us closer to making steel and making the Coke bricks and things along those lines. So we can get rid of that and that. So the engineer's hammer, that is two iron, an industrial hemp, and then two sticks. All right, so we need to get ourselves two iron, and then we should have everything to make this. Awesome. So there's our engineer's hammer. I made the advancement hammer. All right, so coke oven is the next step. So that is coke brick. So let's take a look at coke brick. Okay, so to make three coke brick, we need four brick, four clay, so a total of eight clay, two clay blocks, four, three, and then we are going to need sandstone. I mean, that doesn't matter. We can make sandstone pretty easily. Uh, we need a total of 27, so we need to do this recipe nine times. So we need quite a bit of clay, and then we need to get that clay smelted in order to proceed here. So, yeah, that's our next step, I suppose, to make a whole lot more clay. Well, I have 13. 
I think we're going to need a total of 18 blocks, right? Since it's uh, four clay, four brick. So that's two clay blocks, and we need that nine times. Uh, yeah, we need just a little bit more clay. We're almost there. So I am going to take these five here, and I will just hammer them. I think that's going to be just fine. Where is our hammer? And it should be in this chest. If we have one, maybe it broke. Or no, I put it into this chest now. Okay. There you go. There's our clay. And then I don't have my wooden barrel where it needs to be. We have it over here. Well, I guess we can kind of use this as an automation. So if I put dust into here and then I right click water, that turns it into clay immediately. And then that ends up down here, right? I just need access to my water over here. And then we can do this quite nicely. But yeah, I guess I can grab some of our extra buckets that we have. We got a bunch of buckets. Do that and then we can bring that over. Oh, bucket stack. Look at that. Six buckets. Okay. So if I right click. Okay, it looks like we are out. So I'll do that. And then down here we have 18 clay. Perfect. All right. So now that we have that, half of that needs to be smelted into brick. So let's take nine of those. We'll do that into 36 clay. Then we'll come over here and tell this thing to stop doing what it's doing and start doing this because this is more important. Cool, so we'll let that smelt down. Anything else we need to look at while we are here? Nope, I'm gonna let that fire and we'll be right back, guys. Aha, uh -huh. so while waiting for the brick to smelt over here, I went ahead and I took a stack of compressed cobblestone, hammered that into gravel, went over, and I turned the other two flint meshes we had over there into iron ones, so I did nine stacks of gravel on our iron meshes. And we ended up with a whole bunch of stuff here, including six diamonds and emeralds and all sorts of stuff. I think I put some of the items in here already. Uh, let's go ahead and start compacting some of these things so they're not taking up as much room. Yeah, we got osmium, we got platinum, lots of good stuff going on in here. Uh, looks like we got plenty of lapis. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and throw all of this into here and then we'll figure it out here in just a moment. Okay, lots of iron as well. Uh, all this iron needs to be compressed because it's taking up lots of room. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, yeah, we got lots of iron and lots of stuff. Flint, probably something we're not going to need a whole lot of, I don't think. Uh, lapis is probably something that we should put like one piece on there and one piece on here. So as we mine stuff and as we kill mobs at our farm, like we'll start leveling these up and we won't have to put on the full... 60 lapis in every one of these pieces. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll just add that to our pickaxe and add that to our sword uh, for looting. Cool. In fact, we could probably make our sword full looting if we wanted to because, you know, we have plenty of it right now. So if we do, whoops, this is the wrong one. We do this, this, that. So that gives us 60 and that gives us looting one. Now, looting one isn't like super great, but it's better than not having looting, right? So it is something. Uh, oh, yeah, and I got this rock candy I can put away as well. Okay, so now that we have this all done, we can grab those bricks, we can grab our clay, we have 36 of both of those, and then we're trying to make the coke brick, which means we need the uh, sand. So if we come over here and grab this, we just need to get ourselves nine sandstone. All right, so there we go, and then we do this, that, and that. So there is 27 coke brick. Now, that's what the quest actually wanted. I didn't realize that, but that's good. Okay, so we have that. Treated wood is our next step here. So if we make the coke oven and we form it, and then we start melting uh, coal, I think it has to be coal, not charcoal, in there. That would be in this drawer here. Uh, we get half a bucket of creosote per smelt, I think. Now, where do we put this? Man, we are running out of room. I expanded this out so we had room and we don't have room. Huh. Do we have like a three by three back here? We do actually. Okay, well, it's gonna get cramped, but we can make this work without having to expand out further right now. But yeah, this is definitely, definitely, definitely very temporary TM. Okay, so there is that. And if we boop it, Oh, I should have put a torch up there while it's up there, just to make sure nothing can spawn. All right. Uh, if we boop it right in the very center block with our hammer, 
uh, boop it on the snoot, if you will, we can form it into the multi-block structure and then start being able to make our creosote. So give it the old boop. There we go. Now, if we just put coal into here, it'll auto smelt. It doesn't cost anything, no additional fuel. And then after however long it takes, the coal will turn into coal coke. And then we should get half a bucket of creosote per piece of coal that we put in here. So it actually would probably be a good idea for us to put in more than eight. And it probably would be a good idea for us to make more than just one of those furnaces. Uh, but for the time being, I will go ahead. Let's see, we had eight in there. 56, that should get us a full stack of coal being put into this Coke oven. There we go, awesome. Cool, so yeah, we're gonna have to let this go. And this is gonna take a little bit of time. It is not a very fast operation for that to process. But while we're waiting on that, we can come back over here to our gold furnace now that we have some diamonds that we can play around with. Uh, actually, do I have glass? We have one glass, that is not enough. Okay, so gold furnace needs to be sat back down and I will do this. I believe, well, let's not believe, let's actually take a look here. So we need four glass, and then if we upgrade it to the emerald, we need eight glass, and then finally, that's gonna be some enderpearl. So we need a total of seven glass being smelted here. So just throw that in here. Cool, so we'll let that smelt down, and then we should be able to take our, well, four of these diamonds, and four of these emeralds, plus that glass that we're smelting, and then the uh, final one here was eight enderpearls, which we can use uh, well, I was gonna say we could use these nebulous hearts, but that's not enough, is it? That's only six. Yeah, that is not enough. I did put one more loot bag in here, so maybe we'll get lucky. We can... Oh, I shift clicked out of there! Don't shift click out of there! Ah, that's a terrible, terrible bug. <laughs> oh, well, we didn't get what I wanted, but that'll get us to this spot right here, which will make it only, what is that, three seconds per item being smelted? That's really good. So let's go ahead and wait for, oh no, we're done. We don't have to wait on anything. Uh, we can break this. Okay, so we will do one of those. So there's our diamond furnace, let's get credit for that. Then we'll do the emerald furnace. Oh, I need one more glass, ah! I forgot, I did not take that out. So there is the emerald furnace and we'll get credit for this one. Awesome, okay. So we just really need to get another nebulous heart. Ooh, that's kind of cool, it's transparent. Uh, we need to get ourselves another nebulous heart in order to make more progress here, but one eighth of a piece of coal will now smelt how many items? Three, maybe four? Looks like three for sure, so that's really efficient. Oh, and this does not back off. It leaves that progress here. That's really cool. I like that as well. So we should be able to get three and a half items per smelt. Yeah, that is really, really good. And it's quite quickly when we just need to melt one or two items. Oh, it's not quite half one. It's like three and a third, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's still really, really good. So let's claim the rewards for that. Get this guy, get this guy. Awesome. And then how are we doing over here on our Coke oven? Have we processed that one yet? Let's find out, and we have a full bucket. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm just gonna put water in there for now so we can clear out our bucket. Uh, definitely get that water out of there in a little bit. So now that we have the creosote, we should be able to wrap eight planks around it, and that will allow us to make some treated wood. So let's do this. So that wrapped with eight planks, there's our treated wood, awesome. So we can get rid of this one and this one. Back to this, we need the water wheel segments, which is three treated wood planks plus four sticks in order to do that. Well, we can't do that yet. So while we're waiting on more of that, I guess we can turn this into our crop sticks. Oh, can't do it in here. Oh, quest complete. Do we get a quest complete for the agri-craft stuff? I thought there was another... Maybe not. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we'll claim that one also. So let's break this completely, and then we'll place down our crop sticks here. And if we place this, does that work? Oh, it does work. Growth 12% already. 
The seed is not yet analyzed. This plant is fertile and can grow. So I'm curious, now that we can do that, uh, AgriCraft, we're probably gonna want a 10, 10, 10 these, I can imagine. Does this cost an arm and a leg? This is not that expensive. So that sticks, pain, slab. Okay, let me get the materials and we'll make this. Okay, so we have everything for our seed analyzer now, so we can grab that. Then we are also going to want to get the book that goes along with it. Where is it in here? I don't see the book. There is a book that you're supposed to put into it. Is it this, the agricultural journal? Maybe it is this one. Ah, so we need more crop sticks in order to do that. Okay, so that's easy enough. We'll grab two more of these. We'll grab two, or I'm sorry, four wheat seeds. It's in the very top drawer now. So four of those, uh, four of those, and then a book. Now, books in this mod pack can be made with paper and leather, paper, two blank patterns, and a string, which I think is the way we're going to have to do that. So there's string, two blank patterns, and it was three paper. Okay, so we will do this, make ourselves the extra crop sticks that we needed, and then we need the book so we can do this recipe here. And the agricultural journal, there we go. Okay, so now if we put the seed analyzer, oh, I don't know, right here is fine. We put the book in here, we've discovered zero seeds. We can place this guy in here that will identify the seed and just tell us it's the one, 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 since that's a basic seed. We'll do the same thing on this guy and that'll also be a one, 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 since we haven't done anything with it. Cool. All right, so the next step is that we are gonna wanna try and do a little bit of cross breeding here. So we do crop stick, crop stick. We do hemp seed, hemp seed. And then we want those fully grown. Uh, we don't have a watering can right now, so I'll just use bone meal, I suppose, mature. Oop, that seems to be using a lot of bone meal. 62, 75, 87, mature. Okay, very good. So now the next step is we put crop stick, crop stick, and those things should cross breed. Now, this mod pack might be set up where you don't need two parents, where you just put one parent and it'll like breed with itself and then mutate into the next one. I don't remember if that's the case. So I'll have to go through the configuration of this mod pack and take a look if that is how it's set up. So that way, like you just start off with one seed, but a whole bunch of these cross crop sticks in a row. And then when it gets to the very end, like you can just AFK it or whatever, it should be where you want it to be. But... Uh, I think we'll try it this way. This is going pretty slow. Do we have some type of a watering can that we can make like this one? This one's pretty good. So that's tin. Oh, that requires an inferior watering can. So yeah, we aren't going to be able to do that anytime soon. I don't think. Um, and I don't, it doesn't look like there's any other types of watering cans. I don't think twerking works with these things at all. Bone meal won't work on this. So it is pretty much just a waiting game. Now, I think it is also the case that uh, some agricraft plants won't grow at all at nighttime. So it might just be that we have to make it daytime and then they'll, you know, do their thing. That's just another thing to keep aware of. But the idea is you breed them, they get their 111s randomly upgraded to like a 333, for instance, and then they grow a little bit faster, they yield a little bit more, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the idea with this. We'll probably be looking at AgriCraft a lot more in the future. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Project Ozone 3. Hope you guys liked it. But yeah, that's all we got time for for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.